Hey, my beautiful people. All right, I want to encourage you that it is vital, it is fundamental, paramount to your spiritual growth and even living a healthy life, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, psychologically, and educationally, successfully in this life, not devoid of challenges, is to know the Word of God, to know the Bible, and to also know the devices of the enemy, Satan, Lucifer, the adversary, the one who is called the father of lies. All right. Please note that he did not lose his anointing nor his wisdom. They became evil and they became corrupt. He has an evil anointing and an e and his wisdom is corrupt, but he is still cunning. He's still crafty. All right. It's just that everything that he tells you, he twists it and it is corrupt. That is why it is key for you and important for you to fight him by knowing the word of God, to use the right strategy, to use the right tool, the right scripture for the right battle, for the war that you're a part of. All right. So please be mindful. He was a part of the inner court, the inner chamber. He was a cherubim not a seraphim he had the cherubims and the seraphim the three angels who are part of the cherubims um are well two of them still remaining um gabriel he was the communicator the messenger our michael the archangel who was the fighter lucifer he really was the music man you know the arts man and they, really they were protecting god's holiness from us so they safeguarding, they are the guardian angels, safeguarding and protecting God's work. We can't just look at God in our own sinful selves. So please be mindful, although he was cast out of heaven like lightning. Jesus said, I saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. It doesn't mean that he lost his anointing. It just became corrupt, it became evil, just as his wisdom. So it is important for you to arm yourself with the word of God. Know the word of God. Know the right scriptures for the right battles for the right war please people i encourage you read not only books that are inspirational i read a lot of good books all right but nothing is like the bible it's a blueprint for life it's a it's it whether you're christian or not it's key and ask god for wisdom and understanding when you're reading it and to give you the aptitude and the, the zest and the zeal and the desire to read read with a purpose read with understanding it will transform your life it will educate you and will help you in all areas of your life as i said mentally physically emotionally spiritually financially educationally sexually every way read your bible